What's going on guys? Hobo Handliner here. I'm up on my feet walking the dogs, uh, getting back out there a little bit at a time uh, with the back injury, but it's good to be back out. Anyways, I want to do like a little bit of a, almost like a vlog, <laughs> show you guys something kind of interesting that actually does have to do with um, one of my fishing spots. This is about a half a mile behind my neighborhood. There's a trail that leads down to a little creek where I've caught some, you know, small panfish, uh, creek chubs. I've seen a few trout, like brook trout in here, but I've never caught any. But I want to show you something that's kind of a bummer and, and very destructive that happened. So long story short is some beavers showed up, literally. And not only are they tearing down a lot of the really nice trees. Say hi to the puppy. She found something she likes. Come on, Bitsy. Let's go. But, um, so anyways, they're, they're tearing down a lot of these trees to make these dams, but they have ruined a bunch of the good fishing holes down in this creek because they made literally like six dams. I counted them one time. I hiked around down here. They made like six dams um, all in different spots in the creek. And there's a really big part where they have flooded out acres and acres of the woods um, with the first dam that they made. And then all the corresponding dams have just thinned down the creek to where all my fishing spots that were farther down the stream are a third or a quarter of the depth that they used to be. So I'm going to show you guys some footage that I can get of this swamped out area and what it is, uh, what it has done. Um, this was also a place where a lot of hunters used to go. And now I've actually seen a couple guys in tree stands trying to hunt these beavers because I guess the county or or whatever. I talked to a game warden. They said they're they're pests and they're they're almost to the point where they're going to flood out this really popular hiking trail down here. So they're trying to get rid of them, but they I guess they keep reproducing. So, anyways, I'm gonna skip ahead, show you guys some footage of these, maybe get you guys some clips of the dogs, just have a little bit of fun. Um, like I said, it does kind of pertain to my fishing at least, um, and it's really interesting. So I'm gonna walk down there, nice and slow. Take it easy on the old back and uh, show you guys some footage. See you out there. All right, so we're walking down to one of the first spots. Say hi to my baby Corgi. She's almost a year old, full of adventure, loves to hang out with me. So anyways, down there, that spot isn't too shallow because there's a dam down there, one of the first dams that they made. So right here isn't too bad. And you can see, I'm going to try to zoom in. Right here is the main huge, huge dam where they have flooded everything out. Let's see if I can be nice and careful. It's a little steep here. So I don't know if you can see it through the woods. Right there is a big, massive beaver dam. And then that whole corresponding chunk of woods behind it is completely flooded out. It used to be just a stream that went right there. Um, and it was just about the same depth, uh, sort of, sort of about this size, you know, maybe, maybe 15 foot wide, all the way down, all the way down to, there's a road back there, and then there's an underpass, and then I kind of, I've lost it, I've never gone past that. We're gonna go up the trail this way, and see this, uh, big swamped out area. It's really impressive, but also really destructive. And you never know, maybe there's some fish actually in there, and someday I might fish the dam. Come on, pups, let's go. So let's head out there and check out the swampland. Right on. Just walking over to the next spot. Enjoying the time back on my feet. Boy, did I miss it. I love being out here with the dogs. It's uh, one of my favorite things to do. Fishing, hanging out with my fiance, playing chess, and hanging out with the dogs. It's pretty much my life outside of working and sleeping. And uh, I'm definitely happy for it. All right, so we're here. Gonna try to get you guys some good angles, but this is this massive swampland. All these woods, just acres of them, full, full of water that cuts through. There's a trail back there. That's the one that they're worried that it's about to flood. It's called the Ghost Town Trail. Um, so they're definitely, they're definitely upset with what's going on here. Uh, everything is just completely flooded. They basically turned it into a lake. I mean, look at that. That is just, that used to be a tiny, tiny, tiny stream. There's a good, there's a good angle. 
Oh, here's some of the beaver chews right here. You can see them. They just drag them right down the bank and then make all these dams. Just all these used to be nice young trees. And they've, they've, they've mowed down on both sides. You'll even see, they'll cut down trees from this side and you'll see drag marks and then they go down in the mud into the, into the swampy area. But uh, there's a good angle. I don't know if you can see it. There's a spot there. That, that's a little hill and that's a little hill. And in between it, it floods out and it goes back that way just forever, all this water. Just a massive, massive swamp. I mean, you can you can you can just see it. I mean, it's it's basically a lake that is has trees growing out of it. We'll walk down here. I'll show you another big tree that they uh, that they chewed down and a bunch of more little ones. Right here, right here. All these. Look at that. All those beaver chews. See all the wood chips. And they just drag them down there. There's a big tree they knocked over. Just, they just dammed it all up. More trees down there. Just incredible. So, they've definitely ruined a good little native brook trout fishing spot, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Down there, some more. Just, and I, here's the kicker. I've never actually seen one of these critters. I don't know if they're nocturnal. I don't know much about beavers, but um, all I know is they're definitely a nuisance. <laughs> and they got hunters trying to get them. And me and my dogs are, we've tried to find them and we never find them. We just see the destruction they've made. So, show you guys a little bit more footage, but I think you get the idea. Um, I just find it, I find it kind of interesting. I mean, it's not, I've, obviously I don't have like a house that's going to get flooded by these guys, but it's really, really interesting that such a tiny critter can cause so much, so much destruction and change an entire waterway. Just completely, completely change the whole ecosystem here. So, right on. Pretty neat. All right, so that's all the footage I'm going to get of the, uh, of the flooded out area. But I want to show you guys something cool. Stick around. Um, we're going to hike down to a spot about two miles away that I built a really old, cool teepee, like a survival bushcraft shelter out of nothing but debris and fallen logs and stuff. Um, I built it like seven years ago, six years ago. And I know for a fact it's still standing. I haven't been there in years um, except to just swing by, check it out. I haven't like camped out in it or anything. Um, but I want to, want to walk down there and show you guys this really cool, just classic hobo looking teepee shelter that is, uh, it's just really neat. And the fact that it's still standing is really, really cool. So we're going to head out there, end on that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I know it's a little different. I'm not actually out there fishing, but you know, we all love hiking and <laughs> hanging out with dogs. So I think you guys will enjoy this and this teepee it's really cool so let's head out there let's see you out how about it puppies we're gonna go find uh my old shelter you guys gonna explore it for me what you sniffling around for huh it's down that way we're almost there right on We're almost there. There's a nice pond. And again, more beaver activity that made this. This is way up the stream from where they ruined the fishing spot. But that pond, that's, that's always been there because of these beavers. You can see a little dam right here that chokes off the stream. They all, all the beavers, uh, they started up here, miles and miles ahead of where I was showing you guys. That's all from the beavers. Now that they're okay with, because this is just a big old field. So they don't mind them being here, but when they went downstream and they were breeding, that was where the problem was. I don't know if you guys can see that tree right there. You see there's a little spot there. That's a bag of beaver bait. There's a guy who traps them down here and there's like a little, there's a little trail with LED lights that I've found. Um, I haven't seen him in a long time. It was an old timer who used to trap him down here. I guess he had permission from the landowner or whatever. But yep, this is where it all started. And that runs miles and miles down that way. And that's where they went 
and now they're becoming a problem. But anyways, let's head over to the teepee. How about it? And there she is, guys, in the distance. <laughs> right next to this beaver pond. The six-plus-year-old survival teepee. Look how cool that looks. I mean, that's cool. So let's get up closer to it. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Even just on an aesthetic level, that is... That is great. <laughs> I used to collect litter that I would find down by this pond and keep it in here, so all those beer bottles and stuff, that's stuff that I found with all my trips down here. So as you can see, I mean, apart from the stuffing in the walls, which I made like out of ferns and pine needles, this baby is still standing. Isn't that something? And it only took me like, it only took me three, four hours to make one time bushwhacking down here. I just think uh, you guys will enjoy seeing that. That is so cool. I mean, that's like something you'd see if like crap hit the fan, you'd be living out of one of these, hunting, trapping, bushcrafting, you know, surviving. And you could uh, make a bunch of these, like a little village. That's just... All these woods I've, I've explored so much next to this pond. Had a lot of fun out here. I cooked potatoes and eggs and bacon one time, I think, for my fiance. Had a little fire pit down there. So, hope you guys like that. Uh, but yeah, I'll give you guys a closing outro and, and I'll see you there. Right, guys, well, I didn't do any fishing in this video, but I think this stuff kind of pertains to me and my lifestyle and i think you guys will find it interesting I know, I know people love different kinds of content so i figured you know why not if i'm out here my back is finally doing well enough for me to walk i figured i'd make it out here show you guys my beard is going crazy too look at that Ooh, looks like i belong in that thing <laughs> i mean that's like hobo handliner he belongs oh, where's my hand there put him there <laughs> But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm back on my feet for the most part, gingerly. So I'll be getting back out there filming for you guys and stuff. But I'll see you guys around. Appreciate all the support, all the, all the views and everything. So we'll keep growing this channel. I promise I'll, I'll hang in there and <laughs> keep filming when I can. So right on. I'll see you guys next time. Signing out.